Hey Transformers, Coach Andrew here with Miss Tina once again back by popular demand. She's a little over 60 days into her journey. We want to continue to, to chronicle her progress and uh, uh, help her remember where she was uh, emotionally at this moment, uh, help her see uh, where she is physically at this moment, and we can see her continue to progress. And hopefully we can help everybody out there uh, with, with a little bit of her experience. Hi, thanks Andrew. Um, I always get nervous trying to do this, have no clue what to say or what to do other than just share my numbers and a few of my struggles or, or successes. successes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, don't, I feel like I have more struggles right now than successes, but it's getting there. Okay, so um, it's 63 days into this and I've got 16 pounds of scale weight. Um, 13 and a half inches, but the big one is the 21.3 pounds of fat that's been lost. Um, muscle change, uh, 2.3, and hydration change, um, 3 pounds. Um, I'm still struggling with exercise. I do fairly well, again, with the food. Um, but I also realized today i got to get back to the basics and that I've... Um, Read the manual, read the manual two or three times, thought I had it, but it's like I have to make myself go back to that in every single day. Do the five to thrive and remember everything that's in there. And, you, I mean, we talked about not being afraid to, to go back to the basics, not being afraid to screw up along the way, to be a student sure. again. Um, you know, the, I think the older the older we get, myself included, we can start to take our experience and our knowledge for granted, and we say, "Oh, I I, I can do that. That's, mm -hmm. It's it's so simple. Mm -hmm. I can do that." But this is a you know a completely new thing for some of us, and we have to look back at the times that we were you know learning learning to add and subtract, and we were counting on our fingers and toes and and using a calculator, whatever it took. We had to, you know, line up the numbers and go down the ones, calm down the tens, go back to basics. Don't mm -hmm. take that stuff for granted because nobody's judging you. You know, this is this is what you're doing for yourself. And I, and I told you, when you're out there, whether you're walking outside and you're going, well, is anybody looking at me? Or you're at the gym. <laughs> I, I don't I don't care what, what anybody says uh, about people that are at the, at the gym or out trying to do better for themselves. If they're out there... If you're going to judge somebody who's who's trying to do better mm -hmm. for themselves, man, that's a reflection on that person, not on you, man. You're going to do great, and you're continuing to do great. You said you wanted to do better. You wish it had been more. We know Stop the keys. Stop wanting and wishing. Start and doing. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. <laughs> Fantastic. And you can do it as well. Stop wanting and wishing for, for your better life. Stop wanting and wishing for better health. Come in, take the first step, and make it happen. Chronicle your journey with us. Let us walk with you. Come see us at one of our free health and wellness seminars. Check us out online at lt360.com. I will see you out there on the road.